This morning, my friend David went through a tremendous season of difficulty. I'm just so impressed what he's gone through. But let's just let his words encourage us. David Leal, where you at, buddy? Welcome David Leal as he shares real quick. Come on, church. Do better than that. Come on, man. Got this. Good morning, church. I now know why uh, Brandon called me up and asked me right away because God's uh, coming out with some oil right now in my life after the pressing. Um, you know, I transitioned from, uh, an in- from the insurance industry last October from a fledgling company that had just relocated to Nashville, Tennessee. And in fact, they had asked me to move with them. And after some prayer, God frank- he, he f- f- very strongly said no. And I knew why, because the, 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 the following months, they actually went out of business. And luckily, praise God, he opened the door for a new company in uh, November and December of last year. It was all training then. And, you know, God has a way of giving you a nudge and telling you you can do it. He gave me what some may call beginner's luck. And in January, I had a great month. Uh, in February, I had a little small dip. And I remember very clearly me with Pastor Brandon. And we, we charted out everything I had to accomplish, all the goals I had to hit, all the numbers I had to hit to climb out and get ahead. And then Corona hit. And, uh, and then our company, everyone was really anxious for really good reasons. In fact, uh, overnight, they, they laid off 60% of, of the staff. And on March 24th, I received an email that they were essentially given an ultimatum to all the sales reps in the company. It was stick around and generate your own business and receive the very little leads we're going to give you or, uh, you know, file for unemployment. And, you know, the struggle began in that, in, that, in that moment because in my heart I knew that I could not file for unemployment strictly because of the faith that God, uh, that, God has, that, that I had in the promise that God had for the new company. Because I was like, no way is this going to get in the way. And, you know, things were looking up after a little while, but in reality it wasn't. April, my family and I went to zero. We had zero income. And in May we had zero as well. Uh, and, you know, and frankly, I, I was struggling with myself. I, I, I'm like, well, this isn't what I thought. God, where's the promise? You know, what, 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 what's going to happen? What can I hold on to? And you guys ever heard of the idea, begin with the end in mind? Well, I just consistently began my prayers with the end in mind. I was holding on to his prophetic promise of the breakthrough that I would have in this company. And, 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 you know, so here I am struggling, sticking around at a company that's not even providing me income opportunity. I have to go feed myself in reality. It was very difficult. So it was all purely on faith. Frankly, I was in deep waters. I was asking myself, well, what's next? You know, June started off with, you know, a little promising. I had a little bone thrown at me. First week was great, but it was another three weeks of struggling. Another three weeks of operating purely on faith, and I was wavering. I'll be frank. Uh, But then July... August, September, man, God exploded on the scene. He exploded like never before. And all I could think of is that God delayed the gratification. You see, the biggest revelation that God gave me after reflecting on the last few months of God's provision in the midst of, 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 of the pandemic and after the pressing and still pressing, I had to do the work needed without the fruit to prune what he did not want to stay. And, and believe me, I, I, what I believe was that, was that was the spiritual strength of the shoulders he has given me. And, and now has God, God's paved the way for, for us to relocate to Rockland. And, you know, he's not done. Just like Brandon was saying, he is not done. And I just cannot wait to see what he has in store. And I'm still on the press scene. And I just can't wait for the oil to be released. And, and I'm just excited for what God has in store for not only Rockland, Roseville, the, the Rock of Roseville, us as a church. And I'm just thankful. And that's it.